So in this problem, we need to convert the cheetah's speed in 120 kilometers per hour into feet per second. So we want to see in one second how many feet can this cheetah cover. This is a pretty high speed, so it's probably going to be a lot of feet in one second. So here we go. The first thing we have to do is figure out where we're ending. And we want to end with feet per second, so we put feet over second. Remember, it's going to be how many feet over one second. That's what we're going to end with. So then we're going to start with the only other uh, information given to us, which is its initial speed. Now remember, if you're going to end with two units, that means you better start with two units. So now we're going to use 120 kilometers per hour and write one hour. Don't do a slash, put a horizontal line, and then one hour on the bottom. We're going to end with two units. That means we have to start with two units. So put kilometers down here, so kilometers cancel. And I gave you this conversion factor to help you uh, convert between the English and metric system. I'll give you those. Anything within metric like this, one kilometer is a thousand meters, you should know. But if you're jumping between the metric and the English, I'll give you those values. So anyways, kilometers cancels. One big kilometer is a thousand little meters. And now we want to get meters to cancel. We know one meter is 39.4 inches. Again, I'll give that to you. I don't expect you to know that. But meters cancels, now we have inches. Inches is closer to feet. Let's do one more quick conversion. We know 12 inches is one foot. And this is a simple conversion, I expect that you know. So I probably won't give you that one. Anyways, you got feet. Feet is what you want to end with. So put a little stop sign around it so you don't mess that up anymore. You know you got your top unit. Now we have to worry about our bottom unit. We've got hours, we want to go to seconds. So now we're going to do conversions that focus on the time. Hours is on the bottom. To get it to cancel, we got to put hours on top. If you put, we start with hours on the bottom, and you put hours on the bottom over here, they're not going to cancel. If anything, they're going to end up squaring. So you get hours squared instead of seconds. So that's not good. If it's on the bottom, cancel it out, put it on the top. All right, so what do we know about hours that are going to get us closer to seconds? We know one hour is 60 minutes. Hours is going to cancel. And then we want to get minutes to cancel. I'm almost out of space here. Put minutes up there. We know one minute is 60 seconds. So now minutes cancels. Put a stop sign around seconds because now you know you have your bottom unit. Do the math. 120 times 1,000 times 39.4 divided by 12 because it's on the bottom. Divided by 60 divided by 60 equals. And whatever you get is going to be how many feet that little cheetah can travel in one second. So again, if you end with two units, feet per second, you better start with two units. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. It doesn't matter if you do the distance stuff first or if you do the time stuff first. Since you're multiplying and dividing, it's all going to end up getting all squished and combined together. So it doesn't matter what you do first. As long as all the numbers on top remain on top and all the numbers that should be on the bottom are on the bottom. The math will come out the same.